face is starting to peel again. You better hurry up. Uh oh. As everybody couldn't hear the clicking of my cup turners in the background. They're very obnoxiously loud. As everybody couldn't hear the click. They can hear us now. They can hear us now. Welcome back to the world. Trying to get my cookie sheet level. Yay. Hi Tunnel, hi Madison, hi Wendy, hi Kim, hello honey, hello again. Hello, hi, hello. Alrighty, so today we're doing the cheap buffalo plaid. I had this idea before everybody else started coming up with this idea. And it was gone. like a month and a half, two months ago. And I had mentioned it and everybody just kind of swept it under the rug. So, um, so the way that I didn't warp my image when I printed it, um, what I did was, is I took it, uh, this is a 30 ounce skinny. So I wrapped it around this way and then I just lined my lines up, drew a line with what was overlapping the other side and I drew a line and then cut it off. So, so you physically warped it? Just didn't... I physically warped it without warping the image and distorting it. So. Husband decided to make dinner. Now I told him I have got my life so I'm not eating with you. <laughs> that must be Madison. It is. Okay, so I got my cup nice and wet. So I did um, red chunky glitter and then I did a little bit of a fine over it so there wasn't so much chunky. And then I epoxied it until smooth. I did this cup today. Well done. So I got it done relatively quickly. Now I gotta remember which side was. I think it was this way. Yeah, it was this way. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was like, I don't know. Hi, Anita. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, I got my water slide soaking in my paper. Now, this is a laser printed water slide. So, I'm going to take it off of my cookie sheet, off of the water slide paper, and line it up with the top of my cup. Now for my laser printed full water slide wraps, I don't, for my full water slide wraps, I usually um, seal them. But this one, it's the Sunny Scopa paper and it's the thick one. So this one is really easy to go on without scratching it up and everything. I did just do a layer of matte clear over the top of it. Let me grab a paper towel. Hi Geraldina. Hi Amy. So I'm just rolling my cup to get my water slot on there because I know once I reach the end I'm going to need to adjust it some and pull it down. So I don't really want to get all the water bubbles out until I get to this side. And I'm able to make sure that it's not too high at the top. I can't fit both my hands in this cup at once. So I got my paper towel. Geraldina says she's missed it. Yeah. We've been busy this week. It's been the week from hell, so... You know. And I think it's been the week from hell for everybody, for the most part, that I've talked to. 
Let's see, it was Friday the 13th in 2020, of all things. Yes, it was. The second Friday the 20th. Hi, Tivoli. The second Friday the 13th of the year, which generally there is only one Friday the 13th a year, but this year of all years had two of them. So that was rolled up a little bit under there, so I had to fix it. Chrissy. Okay, I'm here. We can get started now. Yes, Chrissy said that she would be on tonight. Ooh, ooh. Hi, Chrissy. With Hi, a tall Andrea. drink. Andrew said, hello, a water slide plaid? Cool, I've never seen that. Yes, so everybody's doing like the plaid um, with glitter, but I don't have the patience for that. So a long time ago, I thought about this cheat of doing this buffalo plaid with a water slide instead of like all glitter. Now, I did spray this with matte, so that's why you could see a huge difference between the two. Once I epoxy it, you won't be able to tell that it's a water slide. So, I'm going to try to pull this side a little bit tighter. And I got this image off Google, by the way. I just right-clicked copied it and pasted it into my silhouette software and printed this one out as big as it would go. And then the second one I just printed out a big enough size that I could fit because I needed something else to print it on water slide. So I'm just working all the bubbles out. Melinda, yeah, I tried to fly with it. It failed. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the patience for it. I, I can't do it. So, I figured what better way than to cheat with a full water slide wrap. Everybody's like, ooh, this is a new thing and it's so much easier. And it kind of is. It's kind of easy. I kind of like it. It's just getting all the bubbles out. Full water slide wraps, getting all the bubbles out. Isn't the most fun. But it's a hell of a lot easier than sitting here for an hour and 45 minutes trying to make sure that the glitter is all perfect and all that good jazz. Now like I said I used matte clear on this water slide so you do see a little bit of a matteness um, on the water slide. You can see a big difference between the two. Now I will fix that. Um, once I, you epoxy it, it makes it to where it's not um, matte looking like that anymore. Honey, it's a Sunny Scopa paper. Yeah, Sunny Scopa. I get it off of Amazon, and I get the thicker one. There's a medium, I think, and a, a regular, and then there's a thick. And I get the thick one. That one little lip is going to drive me insane. I'm going to keep messing with it until it's not driving me insane anymore. <laughs> Which could be for forever, so. Uh, Chrissy and Andrea both said it looks so much easier and you're a genius. Yes, I thought of this like two months ago and then I saw it like a few weeks ago and everybody was doing it and I was so pissed off because I thought of this idea literally two Sorry. months ago. Sorry. And with the clear water slide, you do want to make sure you get all of your bubbles out. Because when you epoxy, it will heighten the look of them. It will make them more visible. Instead of, sometimes people think that it won't be as visible when you epoxy it, and that's not true. It makes it more visible. Tori's here. Hey, Tori. Oh, and we're also going to do a bleach spot, too. You don't think that bottom part would look bad if you uh, sprayed it white, too? White down here? Yeah. Well, I figured once I let the water slide dry that I would do the bleach spot with the acrylic paint. But I did cut out extra if I wanted to put it around the bottom. I don't think it would look bad there. Spray yeah. the bottom white and spray your spot. 
Yeah, but it would mess me all up. I don't think I can do it. Yes. I mean, you can see it's not completely straight right here because it's not a straight tumbler. Um, it's bigger around the top than it is the bottom. So, Madison you know. Madison says your lab cut looks amazing. Thank you. I did another layer of epoxy on it today, and I think it needs one more layer, and then it will be done. But yeah, I individually placed my leaves. Call me strange, but uh, I think they're evenly dispersed that way. I stuck them down with the designer clear adhesive. So, I'm cutting it out as close as I can. I don't have to because it's a clear water slide, but I need it for measurement purposes. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer Welch. So. Tori, hey, I did a dragon eye. It's baked. It's, it's the baked stuff, so do I put it on my cup, then bake it? Yes. Yes. You, wanna, you don't want to paint your cup. You want to do like a regular stainless steel tumbler, and you want to stick it in the oven gonna drop me nuts. You want to stick it in the oven so that um, it's curved to your cup like this one. I've got to put on a cup. This <coughs> one's curved so when I stick it on my 30 ounce modern curve it will stick exactly where I want it to go. And then you pop it off of that stainless steel one and then glue it onto your regular tumbler. If you said most people have a cup they use just for baking, so they don't really know. Yep. I bake mine on my cup, and then I paint my cup. Then I take my dragon off, I pop him off, and then I paint that cup that I used in the oven. So that I'm not baking the same cup over and over again, but I don't know. it just depends on who you are, I guess. Where's my cradle? I guess I'll put my cradle up so that everybody can see what I'm doing because it's not as visible when it's in my lap. I'm sure everybody would appreciate that. So. These little lined squares. I want to get it. It needs to go like right there. flip it back over. It's all flippy, dude. It's always better to unflip your water slide in the water. You just kind of wiggle it and it just kind of goes back to the way that it's supposed to be. And then I'll try it again. Turn it, put my lines together. It's probably not going to be perfect, but it'll be close enough. And the reason it's probably not going to be perfect is because my cup is curved. We're not curved, it's tapered. Tapered, yeah. But I did get some non tapered cups from Slu for their pre order. Super excited for those to come in. I also got a lot of mugs. Thank you, Chrissy. She's telling me thank you for setting up the cameras like that so everybody can see everything. And. And reading comments so you can read and work it so I can read and you can work yeah he's handy that way 
Sometimes. I mean, sometimes. It's like my favorite saying of all time. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, it's not going to be perfectly straight. But it'll be good enough. If somebody looks at that hard enough to tell that the bottom row is a little bit off, they can eat my ass. <laughs> and I mean that in the most politest way. Because I am nothing close to perfect. And I think a lot of people expect perfection out of our cups and it's like physically not possible. We're human and we're hand making cups. So it's not possible for us to be or to make perfect cups. Madison's dying. Why? It's because I said they could email. <laughs> yeah. It's the brutal honest truth. That's how I am this week. I'm like, well, they can eat my ass because I'm over it. I don't know, that's not the most Christian thing to say or the most ladylike thing to say, but it's how I feel this week. So, and I think, oh no, that one's got to be lined. Honestly, I may just cut it off. Or not. Hmm. I just need a striped square for right there. Andrea says you can't get over how much faster this is. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm almost done. It's pretty insane. Okay, so. That. No, I need them. To go. Hmm. Whatever. <coughs> so, if you haven't been able to tell, you can't get a full water slide wrap on a 30 ounce skinny. And that is because, by the way, Cameron's sick. Um, that is because the paper isn't tall enough or wide enough for you to be able to do all of it at once. Like, it just, it doesn't work. I've tried, and I, but I've had to piece together um, water slides. What is wrong with her? Mm. My kid just stumbled out of her room. To come yeah, up here to I'm wave at us. I've, just, I've been under the weather the past couple of days. Yeah, he hasn't felt good. I still don't feel good. Yeah, he still doesn't feel good. That is what it is. Tori says she thinks she made her out too big for a dragon. Mm, I thought that too, but my first dragon turned out pretty cool looking. Just ask because April Noller has Wanda. That's what I named it. That's my dragon name. That I picked out because he's super cute. She's super cute. And she was pink. So. Jennifer says she has one of these on her turner right now. See? Everybody's doing this way. Hi, Heather. Uh, let's stretch it a little. It'll fit. It'll fit. Come on. We'll just push your seams together. And that makes for a more flawless seam. Because if it doesn't fit, you just make it fit, right? Sometimes? Maybe? No. Oh, okay. My bad. No means no. <laughs> no means no. This is my no no square. No means no. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you guys. I'm just gonna pull that on there and then I'm gonna get my fan maybe. Maybe I'll try to cut this off the bottom. I don't know. 
I could try to cut slits in it and wrap it around the bottom. Ashley says you definitely want some more of the buffalo flag cups. Who? Ashley. Really? Mm hmm. She's not making this one for anybody specific. Ashley. Yeah, we're going to do the bleach spot on this one. And we're going to put Mr. Santa up there that says there's some hose in this house on the bleach spot. Because, I mean, why not? <laughs> There's some clothes in this house. There's some. I mean, everybody's making the bleached shirts with it, so I thought it would be super cute for people to have, like, a matching tumbler to their shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch my lines down here. It's turning like nothing on it. So I'm just going to cut some slits in it so it lays down flat. Madison, yep, I want it. Uh, Ashley, yep, I want it. Oh, and uh, Madison thinks it's funny that you have that one rogue piece of glitter on your hand. <laughs> this one? <laughs> it's probably because it came off of my cup. <laughs> or it's somewhere in my craft room and I just stuck my hands in it. My face, says she wants to try one, but she's scared of the water slide. So, everybody says I'm like the water slide queen. But it's all about my sealing process. So it's super easy when you seal it properly, even if you have a laser printer. Um, my laser printed water slides, this one I still did a layer of clear on it. So that it would still have some toughness to it, I guess. I can't get that piece out. There's my squeezers. Oh, there's some squeezers. So, if you're doing a full water slide wrap and you're new at water slides, I would definitely say to invest in some Plasti Dip. And you definitely don't want to do your Plasti Dip as your final layer on your water slide because it will repel epoxy. And I say this because I've totally done it as my top layer before. And I got fish eyes on my cup like crazy. This freaking part is going to come out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, Heather. Leave it alone. Leave it alone! Okay. All right. So, this is our fully wrapped cup. Elizabeth, what did you spray on the water side? So, I sprayed just matte clear on it, which is why it kind of has a matte finish right now. Once you epoxy this, it will bring back the shine, and you will not be able to tell that it's a water slide unless you, like, look really close at your lines and the crease, you know, your seam. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty flawless. Um, and I'm going to do Santa on my not seam part up here. So I've seen people do this a couple of different ways. Um, one way is that you, you would of course epoxy over your water slide, which I could do, but I'm not gonna cause everybody's watching. Um, you would epoxy over it and then you would go back and you would do spray paint you would do a spot of spray paint and then clean it up with acetone around it and then I saw a lady after she cleaned it up around it she took acrylic paint on like a big thick paintbrush like kind of like this um, and then she just kind of flicked it at it and left little spots all over it and that'll probably be what I do to the rest of this cup too is like have like little spots all around this um, bleach spot that I'm doing but this is my image that I'm gonna put on there it's Mr. Santa. And he's going to go in a white box. Or a white circle. 
So I've seen people. The, uh, link to the plastic dip in case you guys want it. Hi, Christina. Yeah, I get my plastic dip. You can get it in the spray paint. Now, Hi, you there. do have to be very, very careful of what color your lid is. Plasti dip comes in clear, white, and black that I know of. Um, so, if it has a white lid, it means it's going to spray paint white. If it has a black lid, it's going to spray paint black. And if it has a clear lid, it's going to be clear. And that's what you want to use if you're a new timer to water slides and you want to um, have more durability hey, to them. Um, I did something with my acrylic paint, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. And this image we actually sell on our Etsy. Yes, Cameron made this image. It's a high quality image. So you could blow it up really big. Big as you want. Big as you want. Big as you want. So I got my little weird little makeup sponges. I guess I should shake this up first. Let me move Mr. Santa over here. But this is the Sunny Scopa Thick Laser um, Water Slide Paper, and it's the clear, which is why you can see the glitter through it. So, I'm going to take my acrylic paint on this, and I'm just going to kind of daub it around. And once again, you could do this with spray paint, but I don't want to spray paint white on top of my water slide because then I wouldn't be able to remove it. The acrylic paint just kind of comes off with water. So that makes things easy. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more. And since I'm doing thin layers, it is going to dry faster than if I did like super, super thick layers. Yes, honey, you can make that decal as big as you want. Yes. The, the quality I made the image of, I actually redrew the Santa and everything. So it's uh, it'll be high quality. You can blow it up as high as you want. Yeah, I right. use, I think I use that one for my sublimation prints. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing the bleach shirts with that image. So this is my sublimation print. And it's actually supposed to be backwards, but I printed it wrong. So. Oops. Probably do some with a spongy brush get better coverage. It's got black alcohol ink on it. I use this one. Don't mind my tactics. This is my crafting techniques. Ooh, there's a snot booger in it. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 he said, uh-uh. <laughs> Okay. So I do want it wider in the middle where the, most of the image will go. Around the outside of it, it doesn't have to be as much of a solid white. Hey, Brittany. Brittany Moon. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can, but you can print it on anything, honey. She, she doesn't do the sub, but she has a Yeah, you could, Hi, you could uh, do vinyl printer, you can do printable vinyl, um, you can print it on water slides, you can print it on anything. But it's, it's such a high quality image that you could blow it up really big and it not lose its quality. Okay. 
So I'm going to leave that for right now and I'm going to let it dry. Hey, Mr. Not Backwards. Oh. Santa, he's supposed to be backwards. I totally didn't mirror that image before I printed it. He's okay. He's okay. He's fine. Oops. The I got acrylic paint on it. So I just take a baby wipe. And since I did um, seal this with matte clear, I could just wipe the acrylic paint off. And clean up your image some around the edges, your white spot. Nice. You said I went fancy on the crafters. You did? I guess. Because I redrew the image, I guess? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't like, I don't believe in doing a low quality anything. Yeah, so all That's of the images that he does, he does them in the highest quality he can do them. I try to recreate them or redraw them or something instead of just putting up something low quality. Is that what you guys get the best? Because whether you're going to use it for a shirt, whether you're going to use it for a hat, whether you're going to use it for a freaking billboard on the side of a building, it'll at least be a piece of quality you should be able to pull it up. Honey says she's going to print that for her next doctor's appointment. <laughs> That would be hilarious. <laughs> Please film it, let us know how that goes. So we can all die laughing with you. That would be awesome. Thank you, Madison. She's been very artistic. I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Heather's a lot more crafty and a lot more artistic than she gives us a credit for. I'm good at duplicating things. I still think there's a certain amount of artistry to do what you do. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. Okay. So, we're going to try and get this. All painters start with a watercolor kit. For the most part. I mean, sometimes. They work their way up. And so. she's prettier. You're right. 100%. I don't know. I kind of felt like Freddy Krueger the past two or three days. What well, did you do with a chemical peel on your face? Yeah, I did a chemical peel on my face and now my face is falling off. <laughs> In the not so beautiful way. <laughs> Can your face fall off in a beautiful way? I mean, maybe. It could fall off in a beautiful, artistic, you know, kind of way. But... Okay, so this is our mess messy part. <laughs> Don't mind me. Alright, so I'm gonna did dab my stiff bristle paintbrush into some white acrylic paint and just kind of flick it up my cup. Some more acrylic paint and this does get messy so it is very I highly recommend you to do it outside blood spatter too or you know right here in your factory yeah because I mean I can't take you outside so I gotta gotta do what I've got and you could take your stiff bristles 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 whatever sprouts Brussels sprouts there's some Brussels sprouts in this house <laughs> and just run it along the outside line so it looks more rustic and like it's not a perfect circle. So it looks rustic. See? Doesn't it look so good so far? I think it looks really good. But that's just me. Killing it. Huh? Killing it. Killing it. We gonna watch more Bates Hotel tonight? Yeah. Bates Motel. That's a weird show. But if you haven't seen... Huh? Is it turning out pretty? 
It's turning out pretty. Hey, by the way, you said Andrew was watching, right? Yeah. I've got to epoxy it again. But it's just got one more layer of epoxy, and then it's just got to, you know, sit over time. And it'll be ready. I'm going to dab some of these uh, spots so that they're not so thick. It's like dabbing your face in the morning before you gotta go to work or the post office. And three hours later, you're like, oh, just a little blush. Just a little blush. Oh, shit. The post office is closed today. It's Saturday. <laughs> I think it's looking good. So we just have to yeah, wait for our acrylic yes. paint. Yes. 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 That's how he says it. Not how everybody else yeah. got it. Wasted. So I'm just trying to get my acrylic paint to dry. Everybody's probably tired of seeing me wave this piece of paper. Mm. Andrew's going to dance and die laughing over that cup. It's going to be awesome. I kind of can't wait. <laughs> Take a picture with him with the with cup. The cup. So we'll put it up on our page. Jeez. Yeah, we'll put it up on our business page. We love having pictures of people with our cups. Yeah. If you have one with a cup that you got from Heather, post a picture. Maybe I'll make a comment. Maybe I'll make a, uh, a post. Or a thread, or a thread of people. Of that. That'd be fun. Everybody that has a Heather cup has to take a picture of it. I know Madison's got two. I know April's got one. Tavoli's got one. Right? April's got... April Noller has two. She's got the dragon one, right? She's got the dragon one, and she's got that weird flower one that I do with the alcohol mm -hmm. inks. The one that Laney has? Yes, the one that got lost in the mail for like a month, and it was never scanned anywhere that it went. And I thought maybe it had gotten stolen out of my mailbox. And it showed up at her house with no tracking the whole way there. Uh, Brittany, yes, we do have a tutorial of the drip. But we've been talking about doing those North Pole mugs with the chocolate sprinkle drip. Yes. So if you haven't heard, the easiest way to do a drip these days, because somebody came up with this, it wasn't me, is mixing your Mod Podge or Designer Clear Adhesive um, with cornstarch and brown acrylic paint and using that for your drip medium instead of epoxy. So you just wait till it dries. But you, you can still put thicket in with it or no? Well, that or cornstarch, yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. drippity doo -dah. Yeah, you can pro I would think that the drippity doo -dah would be better in it, actually, instead of cornstarch, because I'd be afraid that that would start breaking down. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would say probably the drippity doo -dah is the best option. Gonna Andrew, dry. He mm -hmm. got his hair cut. I got that picture just in time. <laughs> yes. Fonzie, that's a lot of work. I have lots of cups from Heather. Yeah, she's got a point. <laughs> no, we're not saying all of them. Like your that favorite would one. Your that would favorite be funny one. if you were like trying to hold all of them in your hands, though. Yeah. It would be awesome. I mean, I have quite a few cups. <laughs> when I say quite a few, I mean a lot of cups from other cup makers. I have one from April Noller, from... Tori? No, I don't think so. God, I have so many cups, I'm looking at them all and none of them are mine. I think I have two cups that I've made. Which one from Geraldine? Yes, I do. And then I have a new cup swap partner. That I gotta make a cup for. Brittany says she's sewn 10 quilts and needs some cup therapy. I have the drip. The drip to do that. Yes. So. I would definitely, you know, now <coughs> that I think about it, because cornstarch is like a food, mm -hmm. and so it degrades. So I would feel like over time, if it was mixed in with your Mod Podge, that it would start to break down. 
Hmm. Chrissy, but has Stan ever yelled out your name for a free cup? <laughs> no, Stan has never yelled out my name. <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> At all. Hey, go get that blonde girl over there. That's about the, the most. <laughs> it's actually his birthday today. Is it? It's Stan the man's birthday today, yes. Happy birthday to Stan. So that's probably why Lisa's not watching this. Teresa, I need a Heather cup. Yeah, I have a lot of a lot of cups that I just need to finish. I'll show some of them to you as I am letting that dry. So this one I started. It's kind of like a painting experiment I'm doing with glitter. I don't know what that one's going to be for. But it's there. I started this one, but I need to put a name on it. So that's kind of all I'm waiting for. Hey, look, I got red blood spatter acrylic paint on it. I wonder how you did that. I wonder how I did that. But yeah. There's my mermaid one. And then this one I did the hatching method with. And I just need to epoxy and probably add like a cool saying. This is my Kiki method cup. I think it's very pretty. It just needs somebody's name or a saying on it. It kind of reminds me of islands. And then this one, I don't know what the hell I was doing with my life with this one, but these glow. The colors glow. Um, Galaxy zipper. This one, I think I'm going to add skulls to it and then do the black skulls and outline them in uh, black glitter. Because it reminds me of like a Ghost Rider or something, but a girl version. I got this one. This one's like just something that I just <laughs> threw together and then I just did. Um, and then my Galaxy Zipper. And then this one is going to be like the one that everybody lost their mind over. That was Becky's, you remember? But I'm going to put the same saying on it. It says, hold my halo. I'm about to do unto others as they have done to me. So, and then she had, like, I did the hot pink skull rings mm -hmm. around it to match the bottom. So, that's what I'm going to do with that one. That's a 32 ounce. And then... Jennifer with the Thirsty Turtle said, after the holiday rush, you and I need to cut swap. Well. Yes. That would be awesome. So this one is something that we concocted when Amanda and Jeremiah were here. We discovered that you can airbrush alcohol inks. So these are all the neon marabou alcohol inks with a... I did this one today. You haven't seen this one yet. It's really pretty. Um, I was about to ask you. Yeah. I did it with Fast Set today. But it's just a multicolored base with the opal glitter over the top of it. I think it turned out really pretty. Yeah. That, almost, that reminds me of Izzy. Yeah. Hmm. Her little rainbow unicorn, so. Yeah, and then this one I sanded. I've just got to epoxy again and add somebody's name to Is it. That geode. Yeah, God, I've got so many cups. So many cups. This one, I don't know what I'm doing with my life on this one. I just thought the color was really pretty. <laughs> That's about my my life story and this one it's got glitter on it so don't mind the glitter but this one is the liquid crystal that i started airbrushing um so miss lou is getting airbrushes that we're trying and then we're probably we're gonna sell them on the website but this is the liquid crystal that i actually airbrushed onto the cup so i don't know if you guys can see the color change with it but you could just water down your liquid crystal and airbrush it on. So that one's pretty awesome. I got so many cups. Now I got there's cups up there that I added. I added the last live box cups is cups up there that were the it cup, and I did the Felix releases. Uh, the blame it on my roots, Pocahontas. Oh, I've got so many cups. And there's some up there too. <laughs> That are done. That aren't just. See the Pocahontas one. Yeah, that one's been up there. It was part of that series, but I want to do that one. I'm gonna do a whole set, yeah, and the thirty ounce yeah, ones. Yeah, Darwin wants to buy the whole set. 
So, I think there's like 14 or 15 princesses. But the live box is on the Elsa one. See, my face is flaking again. It's Don't also, judge it's me. It's also glittery. Yeah, so glitter yeah. hides the flaking. I know I'm messing with it so it doesn't help. Shh. <laughs> yeah. Chris, see, the one that you made with the liquid crystal for me is so awesome. The longer I hold it, the prettier it is. Yes, that's what everyone says. That's one of my favorite mediums to work with. Um, Jill said the airbrush looks a lot better than painting because the liquid crystal on hers uh, looks streaky. Yes, the airbrush is a lot, but I will tell you, you have to do probably about 10 or 15 layers of the airbrush because it's watered down so that you can do it through the airbrush machine. So you have to do a lot of it for it to build up on top of each other to create that look. But once you do it, it looks freaking phenomenal. I've got a couple more layers to do on that one. Um, probably like five or six more layers that I have to do. And with the airbrush, it does dry faster because you do super thin layers, but you still gotta do like a ton of it. So. Fawn said, who's is Felix Felicis? Nobody's. It's nobody's. But I know she knows what that is because she's a Harry Potter fan. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, why does it have a gold drip? And I'm like, it's so liquid, it's liquid luck. luck. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. the liquid luck is gold in the vial. Yep, it's gold. It's supposed to be like liquid gold, you know. It almost looks like caramel. It does. It looks really cool. I like the cup itself because it's got the, it's got a color shift on there. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I think Ooh, this fun. is. Guess what she said. I want it. Mine. Yep. I figured as soon as she... Honey, so where can I get the hold my halo saying? Um, I actually just typed it out. Like, I just typed it out. But if you message me, I'll send you the whole saying. Um, and I'll send you a picture of her cup and how, like, what font. You could do it in any font. I just typed it out. But I really like that saying. <laughs> so... Oh, mine, mine, mine. I want it. Please. Please. Okay, fine. I thought you were making it for someone. No, I'm not. And I did find your other cup, by the way. Jennifer asked, what is your favorite cup to make? Um, I really like my, as long as my dragons take, my favorite cup to make is my dragons. She's become a... Uh... And then I, I, I do a lot of my scales. This one is one of my most popular ones. It's the opal scales that I do. And I'll continue to go up. I'm doing it with uh, double-sided tape this time instead of the, um... The glue. It's a lot less messy. But this is my dragon that I'm working on now. I've been working on him for a little while now. I just had... I've, I've got to go in and I've got a, my silhouette software closed out of me, on me. So I have to measure these to get more of them to go around through the rest of the cup to match the dragon. But my dragons are totally my favorite. I like them the best. But they take forever. And they make my back hurt. But I like them. <laughs> I think they turn out really cool. That I can take an idea and put it into clay. And Nikki says she wants to feel as cool as as well. Really? That's one of my favorite ones. Like the Polyjuice Potion is like super cool. But I like the Felix Felicis because it's like you carry around Liquid Luck with you. It's mm -hmm. like the potion. You know, it's pretty cool. Jennifer said it's gorgeous. Your dragon. Thank you. I really like my dragons, but they're a bit more expensive and it's because of the clay and everything that you have to have to make it. So I'm just putting my water slide down. I would recommend to epoxy first before you do this, but this I wanted to, for live purposes. this is strictly for lab purposes and this cup will probably still turn out pretty cool. But how much for a dragon one? Which you already said. The dragon ones, my thirty ounce is eighty, and then I think I'm gonna sell my other one for um sixty, the twenty ounce. Yeah, cause nobody, I don't know, nobody really likes them enough to have bought one, so it's kind of upsetting. So I don't get to make any more until someone buys one. I'm still working on fawns though. This is the 
image that she put on here. I, would, I actually recreated this image that would be high It's quality. a high quality image. Because the one that, that was floating around, um, when I tried to blow it up, it lost its quality. So, because I had to do it for, so I have 11 by 17 sublimation prints. So when I blow most stuff up that big, it loses its quality. So he remade it so that I could blow it up to really big and it still have really good quality. All right, so you, Nikki wants the Felix Felicis. Okay. Um, Vaughn said, where was it? Because she's talking about your Felix Felicis. It was mixed no, the cup that I found of hers, it was mixed in with my empty cup boxes. There was a cup inside of it, and it was mixed in down there. Who wants to know when you sleep? Um, never. I'm just kidding. In the mornings, I'm a late sleeper. I can't live without sleep. Uh, Jennifer said that she may need to order one, a dragon one from you, with a specific saying on it. I could totally do that. I love my dragon tumblers. She would totally love that. I and would. It, Nobody it, wants my dragon tumblers, and it kind of makes me feel bad because I it took a lot of time to learn how to do them. And then I bought all these super cool pigments. Like, I have mirror pigments. Like, I have silver mirror pigments. And you put it on a black base, and it looks like a mirror. So I want to make like a mirror dragon, like a silver really cool. mirror dragon. I think that would be so freaking cool. Yeah. So. Geraldina, I like them, but I don't want to make them. And uh, oh, Tori said I got, finally she finally got a liquid crystal. She's ready to show you the dragon so far. Yes. But Geraldina, they can have liquid crystal. The dragons can. Yes. Yes. I have the part. Um, Geraldina's I think does have the liquid crystal. Nina, when I did water slide last night, I struggled to slide it off. The paper onto the cup your way looks much easier. Yeah, and I'm doing mine on wet acrylic paint. But I think it adds to the rustic look of it. And also rub out some of the bubbles. Brittany, I love the dragons. Just been super busy and haven't done one. Hooked up my Cameo Pro and still haven't cut anything yet. What's a Cameo Pro? It's, I think that's the big one. It's, it's the 14 inch one. Don't tell me that. Yeah, you need one. Tori, my mom loves Game of Thrones, so it's a dragon with Mother of Dragons on it. That's cute. Ooh, yes. So Jennifer's son plays Dungeons and Dragons, and he would love it. Yes. I have, um, they have like a dragon pendant that people are putting on their dragon cups. I have that mold, too. And they're just making it out of the chrome pigments or liquid crystal. And they're, it's, it's hard to explain. But people are putting those on their tumblers, too. So. That's a 24-inch cutter. What? 24 inch cutter? That's a thing? Mm -hmm. That's huge. Laura says your dragon cups are beautiful. Geraldina says I want one of those with the silver mirror. Yes. Um, wouldn't Tell Chrissy, me that wouldn't be the coolest thing ever. Chrissy says, I want one. I'm probably going to get one soon. But then you said it hurts your back, so I don't want you cussing at me. <laughs> uh, Teresa said, I would totally get one. Um, Brittany said that was a 24 inch cutter. And Fallen says, I'll be up Sunday to pick up the hide and seek cup and Felix cup and to bring you your present. What present? I don't know. Oh, my Care Bear. Teresa, can you show the cup again? Which one? The dragon one, maybe? No, uh, probably this one. Oh, um, I touched it. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It closer. And then yeah, once I um stars. once I epoxy this, uh, it'll add the shine back to it. It's just the matte clear that I used on the water slide, since I was doing a full water slide <coughs> wrap. I think it looks pretty awesome for me to have put it together all <laughs> in a matter of, you know. Right. Tori, I'm trying to do too much at one time. I'm calling it for the night. I just sprayed my printable vinyl from my shirt order like it was a water slide. <laughs> Poor thing. I've been Victor, there. I'm kind of here. Madison, so I'm making a snowflake peekaboo and ice crystals is to die for. Ice crystals, I guess, is to move a bit. Really? I think I have that one. Is it the Miss Luke? Victor, I'll have to go soon. Good to see you, Victor. Harrow. Sequoia. Uh, Brittany, yes, it was just released two weeks ago, and they're sold out until the first of December. What? 
correct. So you're saying I need to buy one now? <laughs> you can't really hear because I'm in the public. Uh, I, actually, I still want one. She still wants that cup. This cup, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Once yeah. I epoxy it and it shines back up and everything, it's going to look uh, really good. It is going to look really good. Ashley, we're going to get with you so we can invoice you and get you whatever you need. Yeah. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, Madison said that ice crystals is the Miss Lou. Yes, I have that one. I have all of their glitters. I'm spoiled. A little. Just a little. But I will tell you, I saw Amanda use this when she was here, and it's called Man in the Mirror, and it's like a purple shift. And I like lost my mind because it was one of the new ones that I hadn't been able to use yet. And it's so pretty. I was like, that's called what? And Amanda's like, it's Man in the Mirror. And I was like, it's what? <laughs> that was that was me. Because even Jeremiah didn't know. Like, it was, there was one called that. <laughs> so we were just kind of looking at each other like, what the hell is she talking about? Yeah, Brittany said if you want to get one, pre-order it through Swing Design. Swing Design. I've heard that before. I heard mm -hmm. they have really good deals on there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. If you want it, buy it. Okay. Then what am I going to do with... They don't have three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I going to put one up there? Yeah. <laughs> I have a Silhouette Cameo 2, a Silhouette Cameo 4, and then I'll have this Silhouette Cameo Pro. Mm -hmm. Where? No, yeah, it would have to go up there because that thing is so wide. If it, mm -hmm. it's 24 inches, if, go it, the desk. if it cuts 24 inches, that means that it's probably like 26 or 28 inches wide. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that is a monster. I thought the four was big. That's crazy. Yep. I will be looking into that, though. So, yeah. <laughs> Brittany says, well, I have five. Jeez. That's a lot. Teresa says, swing design really does have good deals. Yes, I've heard that before about them. Oh, God. It just got turned out great. I think it did, too. I think it turned out awesome, and I think with I think I just rubbed white acrylic paint in my eye. Anyways, um, <laughs> I can't see it. I think it turned out pretty awesome. Brittany says she'll send you a picture of it, and Madison, I can build her whatever she wants. So if she says she wants more shelves. I'll make her more shelves. Yeah, he's the one that's happy that I say that I need something else so that he can get a trip to Lowe's. Not as much anymore. I played with that came out wrong. Teresa, can you <laughs> ask if you can show the dragon cup again? Oh, yeah. It's this one. This one isn't for an order either. It's just one that I um, made. Practice. Hmm? You practiced with it. Yeah, it was a, my second. This is my second dragon tumbler. And I wanted. So this part right here is clay, but around here is actually the cardstock scales because I wanted to have an easier transition between the clay to the cup itself. And then there's a few random ones that I plan to put along the outside of it um but yeah i think he's pretty cool and i did him i painted this dragon with two different colors mica powders that's really pretty so it's a green shift and it's a blue to purple shift so yeah i did that one before i started on fawns so i didn't mess hers up Brittany, i have two cameo twos a cameo three a cameo four and now the cameo pro Holy crap. Madison must be nice. Hubby isn't one to be like, oh, I'll build it for you. He's too lazy. But I love him most of the time. <laughs> Carmen, hello. I'm on late. What did I miss? I had surgery today, so I'm in and out from an anesthesia. We really hope that oh you recover. Oh my gosh. Very smoothly and very quickly, Carmen. Yeah. Bob said, good grief. I'm going to start sending Jimmy with him. That way, they can do the big boy toy store together and don't have to go alone. Yeah, they don't like going alone. I actually don't mind going alone. Because, believe it or not, I'm not, like, one to really, like, shop. Like, when I go, I like to go and come back. The only time I've ever, like, quote-unquote shopping is if I'm, like, trying to do math in my head. And it probably just looks like I'm shopping. I'm just unfolding my edges of the water slide because it was irritating the crap out of me. And it's hard to do because the water, of course, made from the water slide made the um, acrylic paint all wet and goopy again. So 
I had to wait for that to dry just a little bit before I added or before I unfolded it. Yeah, see, you and Jimmy can go shopping at Lowe's, and me and Fawn can go shopping for cups at my house. Okay. Madison, uh, yeah, I really like how this cup turned out. For Madison my first, she likes the smell of Lowe's and Home Depot. Ew. Heather used to work at Lowe's. Yeah, that was my first job when I was 18. Was Lowe's? That was my first job. I don't like it very much. Geraldine says she really needs to visit you. Christy's yes, here. she does. Christy made it. Christy? Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought you said Chrissy, and I was like, wait, I thought she was already here. Teresa said, my son wants your dragon cup. Yeah. <laughs> He's really cool. I've got to epoxy him again, and then he'll be done. But I think I want to do, like, a name on the bottom. I think I want to start naming them. I named April's Wanda from Fairly Odd Parents, And I think I want to name this one Pascal. Pascal from mm -hmm. uh, Tangled. Because yeah. he's a boy. That one's a boy. So, yeah. I'm done. I think the cup turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, would say so. I think it turned out pretty awesome. For my first one, it was my first bleach spot tumbler, first plaid tumbler, and first time using this image on a cup. So, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Yeah, so if you need this image, I'm going to post the link to it one more time. And. The, the plaid thing, she just popped off of Google. Yeah, I pulled that off of Google. I right-clicked, copied, and pasted it. And it didn't really matter how big the image was because it's kind of hard to tell any distortion with the stripes and the squares. So I was able to take, like, an image this big and make it, like, this big without any problems. So, yeah. He what setting good. do you use for stencil fighting? What setting? Mm -hmm. I think I just like cut it like regular vinyl. Mm -hmm. I think I do like on my machine it's force on my four it's force ten no twelve speed four and my blade is a CBO six blade so it doesn't have like the numbers on it for how much your blade sticks out so it just has a knob at the top but I don't have it stuck out that far. So Teresa said her son, your, her son wants your dragon cup, and she's gonna order a twenty ounce one. Sweet. And I could do it on modern curves or skinnies. So I could do it on any style cup. So Chloe said thank you. Uh, Chrissy said just finished the tall drink. Let the inappropriate comments begin. <laughs> um, and Honey says she just bought the image. Thank you for doing that, Honey. Can't nice. wait to make it. Thanks, you guys are awesome. And Fawn said just message her whenever you're ready for her to come over. Okay. I can teach you to and make And the price cups. for the Felicis, Felicis cup. Yeah, that one's a 30 ounce. It's, and it's the Skinny Plus. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. So, I don't know if we're... She has like an even amount of 30 modern curves and 30 skinnies. So, I don't know where we're at with her account. Okay. <laughs> I'll let y'all do that out. Y'all had the money together the whole time, so... Yeah, so... But okie okay, dokie. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, if you do do one, if you do do, do, do do one, if you make one of these, um, tag me in the picture of it. I want to see how everybody does it. You could also do it with different colored glitter, by the way. You could do it with, like, teal blue. It doesn't have to be red. You can do it with blues. You know, you can do it with any of them. Hi, Sissy. So, yeah. I done. Okay. I do on my cup. And I'll post pictures once it's uh, epoxied and everything. I've got some air bubble. Hey, Jeremiah. Because they just got home. Yep, we're hopping off now. Yep. So I hope everybody has a good night. Okay. Yeah. That one's still sticky. Kind of sticky. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a